The food scene here in Dalat has something to offer everyone. There's Italian cafes offering pizza, burger joints, noodle shops on every corner, and a night market that serves great street food. But I didn't come this far to try pizza or burgers. Instead, I'm after three unique dishes I found here in the city. So let's go and check them out. So the first spot that I brought us to is my favorite restaurant so far here in the lot. It's the 168. The menu has a ton of dishes to choose from, kind of giving you a taste of all kinds of regional uh, delicacies. Frog legs, uh, pig, chicken, tons of fish dishes. There's venison on the menu. Um, so the first unique dish that we're having today is pig uterus. And I know I've seen it in Mexico City at Taco San, so deep fried and pinna tacos. I've never tried it and I've definitely never seen it prepared. Uh, similar to like a papaya salad you would in Thailand with peanuts, uh, beans, coriander, crushed vegetables. It smells, uh, it's, it smells great, uh, ginger, uh, garlic. So let's go ahead and try a good piece here. Has similar texture to pig ears. Um, nothing off putting about it at all. It really just tastes like this delicious salad. Really good chili flavor coming off. Uh, they give you a little side dipping sauce, of course, fish sauce, more chilies. Um, I really like it. Um, you know, and it's going to be one of those things where it's organ meat, so it's only going to be as good as the restaurants getting it fresh and that they know how to prepare. But I think this is great. It's another nice bite here, some of those peanuts. Oh yeah. It's really good with the texture difference between the crisp pears, the bell peppers, the peanuts. Awesome dish. I would highly recommend it. Uh, it might be a little intimidating to look at, but there really isn't anything to be afraid of. It tastes like calamari, um, or like I said, a pig ears, similar texture, a little bit like a cartilage um, firmness to it, but great dish. I'm going to keep munching on this for a little bit, and then we're going to be off the spot for two. Um, now at restaurant number two, the amazing pine restaurant is what it translates to. And the views out here are amazing. I'll show you those in a little bit. This restaurant has been doing one thing and one thing only for years, goat. They cook it seven different ways. You can have goat hot pot, you can have goat curry, you can have goat ceviche. So uh, what this is, it's called Yetre Chan, and you take young goat, and you marinate it with salt, pepper, lemongrass, and then you boil it for only 10 minutes and then you slice it very thin. And then it's served in this really beautiful salad with onions, crushed peanuts, uh, lots of herbs. You get rice paper, you wanna make some rolls with it, tons of lettuces and herbs, additional seasoning and lime juice if you need it. Um, but I've heard it's absolutely amazing. And it gets something kind of unique, you know? Yeah, we have ceviche with fish and beef tartare, but again, you see goat ceviche, is a little different. So let's go ahead and give us a try. It smells so good. Nice cookies, some herbs. That is so good. Mm. Oh, so much flavor. The meat's really tender. Tons of citrus. The onion is perfect, the herbs collect through everything really nice, the crunch from the peanuts. Um, I mean, I guess when you're a restaurant that specializes in only one type of, you know, dish, um, just preparing it different ways, you learn how to perfect it, and I would strongly recommend this dish to anyone. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make some uh, rice paper uh, wraps here, and then uh, we're going to go to the restaurant. So after talking to several people, I was able to actually find the exact location of this restaurant. I had stumbled upon it in one of the many articles I was reading about this area. Um, so it translates to Windswept Hill Rabbit Restaurant. 
but there is no address for it. It's just a green home uh, off to the side of a pagoda. The easiest way I suggest you get here is, um, I'll put it in the, the link below, but there is a little tourist attraction just about 10 minutes down the road that features two different pagodas, uh, different styles. Pretty cool to check out as well, but from there, you can actually Google map your way uh, through a couple of side streets and up to the side of the mountain where you'll get to this location. Um, so this family has been running this restaurant for 20 years and they serve one thing and one thing only, rabbit. Um, the menu is on a chalkboard outside and it's grilled rabbit, curry rabbit, or rabbit blood soup. So of course, I ordered the rabbit blood soup. Um, and so through Google translation, I was actually trying to figure out what they put in their rabbit blood soup. So aside from the fresh blood, uh, there's also uh, rabbit meat. I'm not sure if it's organ meat or lean cuts, we'll find out. Um, they top it with a chili oil. They add some MSG, some other seasoning, fresh herbs and peanuts for crunch. And then you get your side bowl of Vietnamese coriander and mint, um, the sesame rice crackers and chili oil and lime. It looks really good. Um, it is cooled down just a little bit, so it's starting to coagulate. Um, they do add acid to it. Typically, it's either fish sauce or lime juice, and that helps uh, slow down the coagulation process. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some lime juice to it. And let's see if we can get some meat in here. Here we go. All right, so it's a good mouthful. We got some organ meat in there, some coagulated blood, uh, lots of herbs and peanuts. Let's give it a try. It's really not that bad. I think I had it in my head that it was gonna be this really, you know, uh, assault on the senses, this really overpowering soup. It, it really isn't. Um, you get a slight tinny, you know, uh, taste to it from the iron, of course. But the herbs are a perfect ratio to the blood. The peanut crunch is a nice touch as well. The organ meat, um, at least from that bite, was really clean. Not saying that I'd go ahead and be my first choice in ordering when I go to a restaurant or Friday night out, but I will say that um, I think the restaurant does a very well job, very good job um, at both presentation and the flavors. Dalat, even though it's a small town, has a ton to offer. Great weather year-round, great agriculture, um, tons of pagodas to visit, lakes, outdoor parks, and they also have some really great restaurants. So next time you're in Dalat, venture out and Dare yourself to try something different. You never know, you might just like it. Cheers.